Now then, YouTube, I am the Toth Man, and welcome back to some more uh, Moon Quest. Moon Quest! Uh, I'll tell you something, right, guys. I've looked into this. I've looked into exactly what my problem was in the last episode with these three machines. Nothing. Nothing is the problem. Everything is working as it should. And uh, as you can see, the chemical extractor here is going ahead. And it does actually create stuff. Let me take them into cells because they don't need to be there. It does actually create deuterium from water, which is why this progress bar is still going along. It doesn't need anything to do anything. It will just go ahead and, and create this deuterium. So this nuclear boiler is still going ahead. And uh, I've made as much uranium um, hexafluoride, this yellow cake stuff, as I could. And that's going to go ahead and... as it's made all this uranium hexafluoride and now you can see I've got three uranium and I've got six breeding uranium so I'm gonna try uh, in this episode to get into something what I can do with this uh, this particular uranium right here so alright let's have a look at uh, what we need or what we can do with this uranium and we need a fissile fuel rod which means we need empty cells along with the three uranium down the middle luckily for me I've got tons of these empty cells just ready and waiting to be filled full of fuel. I've got one fuel rod. That should do for the moment. Right. So, the next thing I need to do... Um, let me go and sleep. I'm actually in peaceful at the moment as well. I've got to change that out in a second. Um, I was in peaceful because I wanted to keep an eye on that whilst I was um, having a look around the internet so I could see what's going on. Anyway, right. Down here. We're going to need to do something down here. This... This is the, the, the area of which fuel uh, and all my power goes into. It's not keeping up, let's, let's be quite honest, it's not keeping up there at all. Um, we're going to need a few things. Number one, we're going to need a fission reactor. I'm not going to go straight for the fusion just yet. I want to do it in some kind of, some kind of stages. Uh, so the fission is the first reactor that we're going to be going with. So fissile fuel rod, yep, yeah, we're going with that one. So we're going to need some uh, some some steel plates, we're going to need two redstone repeaters and uh, some pistons there. It's pretty easy to uh, to craft one of these fission reactors. I would have expected it to be a little harder, but no, it's uh, it's it's this easy. Hmm. Now, where to actually go with this? You know what, guys? Um, I think I'm going to build a, another floor downwards so that I can send the power directly up into the bottom of uh, this this energy cube. Uh, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Let me go ahead and do that and make a little room for myself and uh, I will be right back. And this is the main reason, guys, why we need more power. We're just... Even smelting stuff nowadays, it just will not keep up with it. I mean, we have got this going, but uh, it's using one megawatts. Now, that's a lot. That's a thousand kilowatts. Um, so, yeah, that's taking up quite a lot of power. Uh, but it's going to create us something that will net us quite a lot of power in return. So, um, there's, there's always that to think about. Right, we've got eight steel alloys. No, eight steel ingots, should I say. That's going to help us. Right, let's go and have a look and see what I've done down here. Um, at the moment, it's a little bit of a mess because I uh, like dug into the part where uh, these two are. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I may I may sort that out. But at the moment, I've got I've dug a three by three hole because that is going to be full of water. Let's go ahead and go and grab some water while uh, our iron is cooking up because we need steel. We need some more steel. Um, oh, I don't think I've got enough buckets. Oh no, I have. Over there, good stuff. Right. Let's go and uh, get some water whilst I'm here. And I still haven't fed my uh, my cows again so that they can reproduce and get some more leather for me. Let's get four. We may as well. We may as well. And uh, let's go back into into the house, into the factory. And go and start building this uh, fission fuel reactor thing kind of thing going on. Oops. Let's get you two in there. Right, so there's the 3x3 three three water source. Now, we're going to need... Our, our first bit is we're going to need this fission reactor. So we need two pistons, uh, four steel plates, which we haven't got the steel plates for. But we should be crafting the iron. Still not enough at the moment. Let me take that out and put that in there. Okay. So that will also do me some steel... We need another four bits of iron before we can actually go and do that because we need plates, steel plates, which are done as so. We need four of them. Let's go ahead 
and get uh, some cobble. Let's get some wood. Let's get some redstone. And we do need a bit of iron as well. In fact, let's do that. Let's do that and create a bit more steel. <clears throat> so, the fission reactor. Oh, I've tried to just build it straight away. There we go. Two pistons. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got the empty cells. We need steel plate. We need redstone repeaters, which I just so have to have two left. So it's just the steel plates that we need now. We're still waiting on that steel. Oops, I've placed a torch there and I didn't mean to. Oh, come on. You know what? I'm going to swap them around. There we go. So that's going to prioritize the iron for me. Um, there's one steel. We need... How many more steel? Well, we need eight. We need eight steel. I'm going to wait for this to cook up, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, I've been thinking to myself, while we're waiting for... Oh, we only need one more bit of steel. We only need one more bit of steel. I was going to say, while we're waiting, I might as well go ahead and uh, craft some of the other bits and bobs that I'm going to need. Because I'm going to need a control rod, a thermometer, and uh, some reactor turbines. That's right, guys. The first time that I'm actually going to see these reactor turbines um, in action... So this is going to be fun. Just wait for this one more bit of steel to cook up. And there we are. Brilliant. Steel plate's done. We can go over to this, uh, this crafting table now and make our fission reactor. It's not the fusion reactor. It's a fission reactor. It's not as powerful as a fusion reactor. But the, uh, the fusion reactor will come. It will be coming in the future, but not in this episode. Now, in the middle, we're just going to go ahead and place the uh, the fission reactor right in the middle there. And you can actually stack these fission reactors uh, directly upwards, but we're just going to use the one for the moment. And uh, I'm going to need another piston. I'm going to need a sticky piston, actually. Hmm. Do I have anything for sticky pistons? I don't believe I do. Uh, that's a bit annoying. I may have to go searching around in my caves for a, a thing of a bob. Anyway, let's go ahead and make uh, one of these. Oops. Let's go ahead and make a piston because we're going to need one of them anyway. Uh, and a control rod, which is that. That's brilliant. Now we need the sticky piston. Um, we're going to need a thermometer. Now, it's the block thermometer, not the handheld one, even though you don't need a handheld one to make the block. So we're going to need eight more steel, oh my god, and uh, a handheld, which is four more steel. So we're going to need 12 steel. Uh, we're going to need four glass. We've only got one steel in there. We really do need to sort something out with power. You know what? Um... Because that uranium thing, this is sucking a huge amount of power. And to be honest, I think we're okay on that for the moment. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I can't really do it without destroying everything. I'm just going to take this out for a second. All right, I'm going to whip that out as well. Brilliant. And there we are. So we've just got power now going towards these four machines these farm machines, so it should work a little bit faster in making more steel for us. Um, unfortunately, we don't have much in the way of iron ingot. This is what I'm saying, I'm going to have to get out there, but what I wanted to do was before I went out there, I wanted to get this lot sorted, but we, we're running low on power now, this is the problem, we're running low on, oh, for God's sake, we're running low on power now. So this is the problem, of course. There's four, we can go ahead and make that one. Need some glass. Oh god. We haven't got any glass. We're gonna have to make some glass. Ah what the torches. Go away. Right, uh the sand then we're gonna put that there and we're gonna might as well put all that in there. Uh, hopefully the sand is gonna get cut up. You know what? We need sand more than we need the uh, thing at the moment, so let's go with that. Uh, we've got four steel ingots then to make the, the handheld thermometer, which is what we're going to need. Uh, the redstone torch, we're going to need four glass, so come on, four glass will do. There's one. It shouldn't take as long as what it did to get the, the steel. Um, I'm going to get everything that I need, you know, including all this steel, and I'll be right back. 
Wow, this really is taking quite a long time. I mean, I went down into the mines to see if I could find a, a slime, which I managed to find one eventually, guys. Uh, and I've come back, even though that this is chunk loaded, it's literally, it's just started getting a bit faster now. Um, so, ah, oh yes, that should be it now. That should be it. That's all the steel that I've got. We've got the redstone torch there. Let's go ahead and make this. A handheld thermometer. And then the actual block thermometer which I'm going to have to do by hand, so it seems. Um, and there we have it. That's the block thermometer. Now, this is actually going to be placed... Where is it going to be placed, Christopher? Well, it's going to be placed... Let's get rid of that. It's going to be placed right... there. Nope. There. Haha. -ha. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of that a second. Now, you can see that actually it's warning you at 2,000. We would just want to right-click that and drop it down a little bit, because actually, if it warns you at 2,000, it's just going to uh, it's going to go ahead and explode anyway. Uh, so you've pretty much lost your thing. So I've got a spare piston. I put my uh, my slime balls in the chest so I wouldn't lose them. Where are they? I've got about six of them or something like that. Let's have a look. Five, there we are. Let's pop that in there. So we want a slime ball... On top of the piston, we've got a sticky piston now with the control rod. Uh, that's going to help us out no end. Now, there's a, th this is the bad thing about digging into the floor and having to make this, because it's just a pain in the backside. So what we're going to have to do, the control rod is going to go right there. That is where the control rod is going to go, right there. And uh, the, the, the sticky piston is going to go underneath that control rod. So there's the water. That's where the control rod is going to be. Uh, right there. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I'm possibly going to want to do something about this, aren't I? Because it's not going to face the right way. Um, right, the piston wants to go on top of there. So let's dig back up. Uh, whoops. Sticky piston, please. I can hardly see anything. There's the sticky piston. It's it's in. It's in. I saw it. There's the control rod. Plonk that on there. So what we want to do is uh, go dig underneath here. And we need a bit of redstone if we can. I'm going to make a little... Oh, crap. That's not a little staircase. Well, it is, but it's a staircase to death. There we go. That'll have to do. So we need to uh, bring this around here. Um, how are we going to do this? Hmm. We've got alloy wire in here. I can't remember if we've got alloy wire. No. Ha huh. interesting. Right, we're gonna have to get some uh, some red uh, redstone. Oh, I had some on me. Duh. Right, we're gonna get that redstone then, and uh, we're gonna bodge it if we can, and do it a different way entirely, because we haven't got red ally wire, and that's gonna be difficult. I think that should uh, warn it from there. So let's. Bring this down here. Right, is that where the sticky piston is? I think it is, isn't it? Right, that's going to go into that sticky piston. That's good. That is what it should do. This is what it should do, guys. Now, I wonder if, actually, let me get rid of some of these out of my thing here and keep right clicking this until it goes to zero. Whoa, that's where to. Way too much. Now, we're going to wall at 1900. This should work. I can't see why it wouldn't work, this. It should work. Let me actually test this by getting a redstone torch. Oh, crap. It's not going to be... I'm not going to be able to test it like that. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to actually test it like that. It should work. And I'm, well, I'm gonna have to replace this anyway now. So let me go ahead and uh, block up this this bit of area here and uh, get rid of that for a second. Right? Okay. Now, yes. 
it does work brilliant that's what I wanted to test just to see that it would actually work when I did that but it does mean that we've run out of uh, water where we need water uh, we'll get another couple of bits of water then I'll try to edit these uh, these boring bits out if I can if I can okay just go and get some more water I could use my endless water source up the top there, but I know yeah, I know that if I take it from there, it's probably then going to go ahead and destroy itself, so I've got to be really careful. I'm still on peaceful. Don't worry guys, I will sort that out. I won't be on peaceful for long. Here we go. Put these two back where they belong. Brilliant, we're now set up quite nicely for what we want to do. Uh, we want to uh, put that back to 1900. So, what do we do from here? Well, we need reactor turbines. And I might not have enough stuff to actually make these, come to think of it. Uh, I'm going to need bronze plate, or oh, bricks. That's a very, very weird um, recipe to have, that, bricks. And pistons. We need nine of these. So, in all honesty, I don't know how much clay I've got, but it's probably going to be easier to make bricks. It's a very weird recipe. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or all, you know. Uh, I'm going to leave that there so I can see what's going on. I may just have to make some bronze or what, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to make some bronze, unless we've got tons of bricks in here, which we haven't. So, I'm going to need nine pistons in total. Wow, I don't even have the iron to deal with that, you know. Luckily, here is some I made earlier. Right. Reactor turbines at nine pistons. Good way of doing it is this. Keep nine in there, then just shift click, and then you can keep it. So there we are, nine pistons are done. We are going to need nine times four, so that's 18, 36. We're going to need 36 bronze plates, which in turn, Jesus, that's a lot of bronze that we're going to have to use there. Um, 36 bronze plates, we're going to need over 100. I think it'd be easier to go out there and dig up a ton of clay, you know, and do it that way. Um, wow, that is a lot of bronze. That is a real lot of bronze. That's 100 and odd ingots of bronze, that. It's 900 and... God, I mean we haven't got any. We've got one bronze there. Um, we need tin. We haven't got enough tin. We haven't got enough of anything really to be able to deal with it. You know what? Because it, we could, we're actually getting on with the episode as is at the moment. Um, we've done a really, really good start. However, we need. Oh, there is another way actually. There is another way called steam funnels, which require iron. Okay. We can use iron or bronze for this. So either which way, I'm still going to have to go mining for quite a while to get my uh, to get the materials needed. Um, so I think should we do it the steam funnel way? No, because we still have to create the re reactor turbines. That's right. No, we'd still have to create the rea uh, the reactor turbines. That would just um, do it a different way. So anyway, guys, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to cut recording here. In between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and dig around the place, see what I can find, get some more iron. Um, and uh, get tons of tin and copper as much as I can hold and uh, try to get myself enough bronze to be able to craft myself these reactor turbines. We've got the pistons, we just need the bronze. So, until next time guys, I've been the Toughman, thanks very much for watching and as always, stay safe.